information! We have received certain information that James, Duke of Monmouth, with divers, other traitors and outlaws, are lately landed in a hostile manner at Lyme in our county of Dorset. Members of the Sealed Knot Society show how fierce everybody looked nearly 300 years ago on their way to do battle at Sedgemoor. And the King's troops clashed with these grim diehards, the Duke of Monmouth's rebels. As in most wars, two men thought they could rule people better than anyone else. So they fought about it, using other people's blood, of course. In this rustic field in Somerset, almost three centuries ago, England saw the last great battle to be fought between Englishmen. The sealed knot warriors are not just romping through an outdoor fancy dress ball. The costumes are authentic and detailed. The battle, too, follows a strict schedule based exactly on historical fact. goodies or the baddies. Even today, they argue over who was in the right. Something they didn't have in 1685, a fun gallery of onlookers. All the tricks and trappings of war, but none of the sorrow. Long, long ago, there was charge and countercharge, rally and retreat. For Monmouth's rebels, Sedgemoor Field was a fight without hope. <laughs> to these latter-day warriors, it's all part of the day's fun. In a few minutes, the dead will stand up, brush themselves down, and look for the nearest pub. But beneath the fields of Sedgemoor, the true fighters of that older, grimmer battle will lie forever. Over in Wimbledon, another battle looms, although from the idyllic surroundings,